And that breaking news, our first look tonight at the three girls killed in a Sacramento County church shooting. The 9, 10, and 13-year-olds shot by their own father during a supervised visit. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday night. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. We're also streaming live right now on CBS News Sacramento. Tonight, the three girls killed yesterday at the church in Sacramento in Arden Arcade. Here they are, seen on a GoFundMe page set up for the family. Nine-year-old Samara Mora Guterres, 10-year-old Samantha, and 13-year-old Samaya. The fourth victim, the chaperone in the supervised visit, 59-year-old Nathaniel Kong. And the suspect, David Moore, we've learned he was recently living at the church under some sort of agreement and had just been released from jail in Merced County four days ago. We want to begin with CBS 13's Valina Jones live outside the church on Wide Away where a memorial was held for those victims tonight. Valina. Yeah, well, it was an emotional night for both friends and neighbors here in this community as this memorial continues to grow here tonight. Now, many in attendance, young kids who were dealing with the pain and emotion of losing their friends at such a young age and are still trying to make sense of it all. Through prayers and tears, dozens of community members and friends are remembering three young girls tragically taken away. We don't always know why things have happened, and the girls were just really, really sweet girls. Brittany works at Bannon Creek Elementary, where sisters 10 year old Samantha and 9 year old Samara Mora Gutierrez went to school. I just couldn't imagine the pain that the mom could be possibly feeling because our staff, our community is feeling it. Her daughter Aubrey filmed these videos dancing with Samantha last Friday. She was always trusting and if you like felt something you could talk to. I didn't think that somebody would like hurt them, especially their father. The two girls along with their older sister, 13 year old Samia, were shot and killed by their father during a supervised visitation at the church in Sacramento Monday. She was always there for people, and now everyone's there for her. Brooklyn Muhammad sharing these photos she took with her friend Samia, saying she'll miss her smile the most. She was very beautiful, physically and mentally. She always had a positive mindset, no matter what happened. Candles outside the church are lighting up balloons and messages left in the honor of the sisters. One of their youngest friends, Estella, talking to CBS 13 with her mom, encouraging her to share about her friend, nine-year-old Samara. If you were sad, she would be there for you. Even if you were her friend, if you had no one to play with, she would come up and ask you. Three sisters, friends say, will never be forgotten. It's going to be hard to get over. Tonight, I also spoke to the wife and daughter of the fourth victim, an elder here at this church who was supervising the visit, 59-year-old Nathaniel Kong. His family, obviously heartbroken tonight. They tell me that they plan on making a public statement here shortly.